Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars, and I just got back in town last night, so kind of had to see what was in the shop or what came in the last couple days while I was gone, and this was something I was expecting. I was happy to see that it landed. It's a Two Rock Cardiff head, and I divided by 13 212 cab. They came in together. They came from a gentleman who's brought me a lot of really cool high-end matchless, high-end Two Rock, divide by 13, just a lot of cool, very boutique, top quality class A amps. So he lives in the area, he's a great friend of the shop, and again, he's just this cat that does a lot of home recording, some writing, plays with guys here and there, and he just checks out different tones, kind of matches different rigs for certain amps, he's always changing things, super delicate on all his pieces, and they always come in great shape. Just so you know, these aren't two random head and cabs that someone's putting together, these are two American made, top quality out of all the insane amount of boutique amps being made right now. These two have been around forever. They've kind of set the standards together. Perfect marriage. Really love that they came in as a pair. Well, let's get back to what we're looking at here. We've got a Two Rock Cardiff head. So I've heard about these heads and when I saw it here, it looked a lot smaller than I thought. You can see it's kind of like a, you know, it's bigger than an orange tiny tear or something like that. It's not that miniature, but it's just a compact little head running at 15 watts. It's Two Rock's first EL84 powered head. So that kind of hints the name coming from the UK. And it's really straight up volume, treble, bass, and it's got the kind of tone contour here that you can switch and it's really, really responsive. So came in with this cabinet, which the previous owner had matched these two together. And again, he's had his ears on everything. So I think he had really good foresight on how this would sound. It's, they complement each other perfectly. It's also personally one of my favorite speaker configurations. It's a G12H and an Almico Blue selection speakers. I love that combination with speakers because that G12H is just a really nice, pretty neutral representation or reference of your sound. And that Almico Blue is a low watt speaker. So it kind of gives you that balance of the wideness and just openness of what your amp was built to do, but it also has a side where the cabinet has a little personality and that speaker just is really sensitive because it's rated at a lower watt, so it's responding super quick. If you play with your fingers or do some chicken picking, El Nico Blues kick butt for that. But that balance is really what it's about. I'm gonna mic it on the G12H just because, again, that speaker's got kind of its own personality. I generally do mic those when I'm recording, but just so you hear a little bit more of the head going through the G12H, a more neutral reference, we're gonna go through that. Yeah, so I came in the shop today, plugged into it. I absolutely loved it. Had my Strat style guitar down here today, which is made by Eric Daw. That was the only guitar I had down here today, so that's what I'll be playing through it. And it sounded really good. One thing I loved about this amp is you can get that cool saturation right in front of you so you, should, you can shred, it's really forgiving, but it doesn't sound like a little solid state amp or just a gain button. It sounds like a real amp working its butt off. And at low odds, it sounds good, but we're gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna crank it up. I'm gonna try to do some kind of clear stuff, some clean stuff to show you what you can get as far as headroom with that 15 watts. And then I'll crank it up and uh, see how it breaks up. All right, let's do it. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much. That was a pre-owned Two Rock Cardiff head and a pre-owned divided by 13 212 cabinet open back with a G12H and an Alnico Blue. Thank you so much. See you next time.